we see Gordon Ramsay on television, our favorite thing is seeing him express his displeasure about something. But there are a few things in this world that put a smile on this famous chef's face. And not all of them are a perfectly executed culinary dish. We'll show you some simple things that manage to get a smile on this surly chef's face. Sometimes the heat of the kitchen can make aspiring chefs forgetful, so don't forget to press the subscribe button before we get started. Turn on notifications as well so you don't miss out. Being picky now, anyone who is familiar with Gordon Ramsay's body of work knows that he can be rather particular about food to say the least. However, we do see him eating a wide variety of foods and enjoying them. Any man who admits to going through the in and out drive through twice in a row isn't a man who can only be satisfied by the finest beef wellington. Ramsay fancies himself an adventurous eater and claims that he'll try almost anything once. He loves traveling all over the world and trying fresh, local, and bizarre ingredients. He claims that he wouldn't even turn down a deep-fried tarantula. So what's the one thing that even Ramsay refuses to put in his mouth? Overcooked food. If you see him order steak or a burger, you'll notice that he usually orders it medium or medium rare, and he advises people never to order above medium. In his opinion, the worst overcooked food of all time is one that many of us refuse to eat even if properly cooked, Brussels sprouts. According to Ramsay, the smell alone is disgusting and he absolutely will not eat them. Cocktails one of the hallmarks of Gordon Ramsay is not just his seething and relentless rage, but the creative plethora of insults he hurls at people. Some can get quite creative, like when he called a Hell's Kitchen contestant an idiot sandwich, but he does have quite a few old standbys. Chief among them is Donkey, often accompanied by colorful expletives. After a long day of screaming brilliant insults at chefs, Ramsay likes to unwind with a nice cocktail like so many of us do. So what's his drink of choice? It's a cocktail served at the Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill in Atlantic City, and it's hilariously known as Wake Up You Donkey. The drink is a delicious blend of tequila, cider, fresh honey, and smoked elderflower. The finishing touch is a nice thick lime wedge. Ramsay claims that it's his absolute favorite drink and he even brought it with him when he appeared on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. It was so good that Ramsay couldn't help but drop an F-bomb when he took his first sip. No wonder Jimmy Fallon made him sit on the naughty step during that episode. Traveling like many other celebrities, Gordon Ramsay travels frequently both for his job and for his own pleasure. He claims to love traveling and believes that being exposed to new things and ideas is an incredibly important aspect of life. He claims that he was confident regarding his cooking skills until the first time he traveled to France and became aware that there was a lot he didn't know about different types of cuisine. Ramsay believes that traveling is a fundamental aspect of life and the key to learning new techniques and gaining confidence both inside the kitchen and out of it. One of his favorite places to travel is Singapore and claims that he fell in love with it on his very first visit. Food-wise, he loves the authentic street food and especially the chili crabs. Although he's more often on the judging side of food competitions, in 2013 he famously lost a cook-off against local chefs in Singapore, but that hasn't dampened his enthusiasm for travel or Singapore in general. His car Many of us can relate to the love Gordon Ramsay has for his car. Sure, his is a lot nicer than most of ours, to say the least, but his love for his vehicle is something we totally understand. Ramsay owns not just one, but two LaFerraris, a coupe, and a convertible. Not only are these vehicles insanely expensive, not everyone will be offered a chance to purchase one by the company, and they are extremely limited edition. His gray LaFerrari is one of only 499 ever made, and he couldn't contain his joy when he received a call from Ferrari offering him the chance to buy one. He compared his happiness level to that of winning a Michelin star or when his eldest daughter was born. Ouch, someone's not getting a Father's Day present this year. Once it was safely inside his garage, Ramsey was loath to leave it alone for even a moment. He admits that he spent hours in the garage with it and even slept in it for about two or three hours just to be close to it. Ramsey adds to his Ferrari collection whenever he gets a new Michelin star, so his car obsession probably helps spur him on towards further success. Social media 
For most of us, social media is an important part of our daily lives. Sure, it's not usually very productive, but sometimes taking a few minutes to scroll through your Facebook feed or send a quick snap feels delightfully indulgent during a busy day. Chef Ramsay is no different and claims to greatly enjoy posting on social media. He loves that people are able to stay so connected to one another thanks to the internet. During his various exploits, he makes it a point to share who he is spending time with and where he is traveling as a way of providing inspiration to others. He couldn't even resist asking for a selfie when he met with the headmistress at his daughter's school. The headmistress got a laugh out of Ramsay tweeting their pic, but his daughter was reportedly quite embarrassed over the incident. We suppose that to a father, embarrassing your children is also one of life's simple pleasures. When asked what he thinks about being used as a meme, he claims that he isn't overly familiar with them and doesn't think of himself as an internet phenomenon. Although he's an incredibly fortunate cook, that's what he thinks of himself as being first and foremost. Listen up, you donkeys. Um, we mean valued viewers of the richest. It's time for our trivia question. We all know that Chef Ramsay is an incredible cook, but do you know how many Michelin stars his restaurants have been awarded? Keep watching for the answer. Exercise to anyone who knows Gordon Ramsay's stance on overweight chefs, the fact that he loves to exercise might not be much of a surprise. He claims that overweight chefs have already eaten all the best bits, so he aims to keep himself in tip-top shape. He doesn't just exercise in order to look good in front of the camera or enhance his credibility as a chef, but he truly loves to exercise. When the kitchen heats up and other chefs get frantic, we always see Ramsay working quickly if impatiently. This is because he believes he thrives under pressure and he needs it to keep going. Not only does he spend time at the gym, but he races in marathons, ultra marathons, half Ironmans, and Ironman competitions. His wife Tana runs as well, but Ramsey claims that he refuses to train together as he wants them to be competitors once the race starts. Ramsey has seen so many chefs that have been unable to tear themselves away from their jobs in the kitchen and he fears that could happen to him. Exercise helps him ensure that he has time for himself each day, keeping him strong and happy. Grazing one of the most frequent questions Gordon Ramsay gets asked is what does he like to eat? Since he's known for his culinary skill and high standards, this is a reasonable question. However, Ramsay claims that it's very rare that he sits down for a full three-course meal. He starts each morning with a bowl of porridge but gets the rest of his food by grazing throughout the day. Because he's used to being in the kitchen and cooking, he says that he's frequently tasting everything he's making and has gotten used to consuming little bits of everything as opposed to sitting down for a full meal. Enjoying eating a full meal is difficult for Ramsay because he much prefers to graze throughout the day instead of sitting down for three square meals. In addition, he believes this method makes him a better chef, as he's rarely completely full and has an appetite when he's working in the kitchen, which inspires him to create the most delicious dish possible. One of his favorite quick snacks is scrambled eggs, which he enjoys set on a slice of sourdough and doused in Worcestershire sauce. Guilty Pleasure we all have that one beloved food or food combination that tends to gross out other people. Whether you love sitting down for a peanut butter and pickle sandwich, or you find yourself slicing up a banana to put on top of your hamburger, sometimes it's nice to indulge in something we love even if not everyone agrees. For Chef Ramsay, there's nothing he likes better than snacking on a nice jellied eel. Yes, jellied eel. Depending on where you live, that might elicit a mere shrug or a slightly more visceral reaction. Jellied eels are a traditional English dish that has been around since the 18th century and was prepared primarily in the East End of London. During this time, eels were cheap, plentiful, and nutritious. The Thames River was packed full of the creatures, and they were frequently caught in nets, boiled in a spice stock with water and vinegar, allowed to congeal, and then served cold. Ramsay claims that London has some of the best eels in the world and the most amazing malt vinegar as well. The combination is said to be very healthy, packed with protein, and bloody delicious in his words. Movies when he isn't training for a triathlon, traveling the world, or cooking up something remarkable in the kitchen, Ramsay enjoys taking in a good film as much as the next person. Unsurprisingly, he claims his favorite Disney film is Ratatouille. We think that Disney missed a serious opportunity for awesomeness by not having Chef Ramsay do the voice of Remy the Rat. Although he didn't have a chance to be involved in his favorite film, he did have a hand in the movie Burnt starring Bradley Cooper. Cooper worked with Ramsay in the kitchen in order to prepare for his role as a chef. 
Ramsey was impressed with Cooper's level of commitment and the fact that he was willing to roll up his sleeves and get his hands dirty to get the job done. He says that the big name actor was thrilled about learning to work in the kitchen, despite the fact that most of us would probably be rather intimidated or just plain afraid to be working under Chef Ramsey. Ramsey was excited to see the film come out and have Cooper showcase what he learned from working alongside Ramsey. Fast Food Seeing Chef Ramsay in your restaurant would be enough to inspire terror in most people because his standards are notoriously sky high and he's not known for being shy when he disapproves of something. So we assume that the employees at an In-N-Out Burger in Los Angeles were beyond horrified when they realized that a drive through customer was none other than world-renowned chef Gordon Ramsay. It was Ramsey's first time at an In-N-Out Burger, and surprisingly enough, he loved it. So much, in fact, that after he finished his double cheeseburger, he went through the drive-thru one last time and ordered the exact same thing again. Gorging on fast food is one of life's simple and affordable pleasures, so it's kind of strange to think of a wealthy chef chowing down on a fast food burger in his car the same way that we do. He's also confessed to committing a cardinal traveling sin and bringing piping hot aromatic In-N-Out on an airplane. We can understand that airline food is less than great, so Ramsey probably wanted something a bit tastier to snack on while traveling. We wonder how envious or annoyed his fellow travelers were once they got a whiff of the heavenly scent of In-N-Out. One fast food restaurant Ramsey won't be stopping at is McDonald's. When asked if he would be stopping in for a Big Mac anytime soon, he claimed he would rather eat a cow pie. Before we shut it down, we'll let you know the answer to our trivia question earlier. Ramsey owns many restaurants that have earned him a total of 16 Michelin stars. He claims that he thinks highly of the Michelin rating system and is extremely proud of his stars. So the next time Chef Ramsey is screaming so loudly he turns red in the face, just remember that this is the same man who loves to eat jelly deals and a classic in and out double-double. Hopefully we've managed to show you a different side to this famous chef than the one normally presented on television. Before you head off to the kitchen, make sure to like our video and subscribe to The Riches for more incredible content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.